I don't know how anybody could be bored. You thrill seekers out there, you're not going to find thrills bungee cord jumping or climbing mountains like you're going to find fight and tyranny. There's a whole war going on with the social engineers bringing in their planetary eugenics government. It's in all their documents, all their statements. I mean, I have Reuters right here today, Monday, October 19th, saying they may ban people attending the World Cup because emissions are soaring and they can't have carbon tax. Look at this headline. World's future is being decided. We need to curtail air travel now. Curtail. I mean, th 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 listen. I've got the treaty. Farmers venturing into brave new world of carbon markets. Look at this. It's total takeover. And the British Lord calling for restricting air travel. He's the guy that owns the carbon credit rating industry. This guy, they don't tell you this in the article, but I have the article where he's the one that calls for that. Look at this. Stern launches credit rating agency. Lord Stern. They don't tell you that, though, when he writes for The Guardian. Look at this. Here is the Copenhagen Treaty. This is only two pages of a thousand. Point thirty-eight a global government. I'm going to cover this later, but I'm going to shut up and go to Lindsey Williams. Lindsey, go ahead and launch into this now for me. Go ahead and get into this for me. Go ahead and 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 just recap as much as you can tell us about this guy, the previous info, and get into the new info. Pastor Lindsey Williams, you've got the floor. A few days ago, now, now please, folks, understand. This is not a year, two year ago information. A few days ago, when I got back in the office for the first time in over two months, I picked up the phone. He was very friendly. I, I was stunned. Now, I'm going to have to admit to you, I am still shaken. Uh, immediately, the very first thing I did was picked up my phone and I called Kansas City. And I said, I'm hopping the next airplane and coming out there. You have your cameras ready. I went in studio, professional studio. Did a multiple camera uh, DVD, three of them, two, two by one hour, another one an hour and a half. I have hired a new fulfillment house. Alex, I'm like you with your new DVD. You've got to get it out. You've got to get it out to everybody you can as fast as you can. You're going to understand why whenever I get into this in a moment or two with what he actually said. I'm the same way. Uh, I got a new fulfillment house. Uh, I said, I want numbers off. Well, we got seven operators standing by. They'll ship it within 24 hours. And, and I did three and a half hours of DVDs. It took me that long to explain everything that this man told me. Okay, we're going to plug the number. Like this. We're going to plug all the info. But, Lindsay, condense it down. What did he tell you? Okay, here we go. Folks, have your pencil and paper handy because no one has access to this material. This is the first show I've ever given it on. You're the first one to know it, and you'll get it no other place on the face of the earth, believe me. Over 85 years of age. Nearly died last winter. I mean, Alex, okay, here we go. You ready? I'm just going to give you one statement after the other, and I'll elaborate on them somewhat as we go along. I'm ready. He said, and this is completely different, Alex. I mean, most, most people haven't even thought about this yet. He said, Within two years, you will not recognize America. Oh, my goodness. When he said that, my mind went a 1,000 miles an hour. By the way, when I was in the studio the other day making these DVDs, the studio owner came in and he said, wait a minute, you can't put that in. He said, you cut that out. He said, I'd, it'd be too dangerous to even put that in in my studio. And, and we did. We cut one little segment out because he said, you can't make that statement. He said, it'll, it'll fall back on us as a studio. Now, let me keep going here. We're this is like years. Russia. It's none of the guy's business where you're videotaping something in a studio. But the average American's been programmed to be like a Soviet Nazi. You, you, you cut out. Well, you say whatever you want here. You tell us what's not in the DVD. Lindsay, tell us. Well, he said, this gentleman, one of them, he knows everything that goes on behind closed doors. You're talking about D8, D10, I don't care what it is. This man knows what it is. He knows he doesn't have much more of his life. He said, quote, within two years, you will not recognize America. And the first thing I wanted to know is, what are you talking about? He said then, he said, we have altered our timeline. I'm going to put it this way. The elite have altered their timeline. Now, you'll remember back two years ago, 
I said the price of crude oil is going from $147 to $50 a barrel. He also said some other thing. Oh, Alex, I'll get into this as we go along. He said, McCain is our man. I did not have the slightest idea how important this was. And I'm going to tell you in a few moments, this Obama guy is in trouble. The elite have altered their timeline. After two and a year, he said again, after two years, you, oh, Alex, please, I hope every one of your people out there write this down. And when you think about buying Alex Jones' new DVD, don't you hesitate one second, because here it is right here. This gentleman said, after two years, you will be so poor, you will not be able to rebel. Alex, I was stunned. I mean, this man went on and on and on with what they're doing. Why would you be so poor after two years? He kept using the expression two years. They have a new timeline. You know, people can stand outside and watch these people as they go in, and you've done a marvelous job of, uh, of telling what you see whenever they go into these meetings. No way in this world could a person ever talk to one of them himself unless he was under this particular situation with this man this age and his physical condition as it is, and he literally poured it all out. He said, after two years, you'll be so poor, you won't be able to buy my DVD or Alex Jones' DVD. You won't be able to get this material out. They have it planned, and, and whenever I go into some of the things, that is how they're going to bring this about. Okay, I'll give you another one, and I'm going to go back and elaborate on these more. Inflation will escalate over a period of two years. You'll remember back two years ago, this gentleman said to me, we're going to have inflation, and I kept predicting it was going to take place in a year to a year and a half, and uh, I'm saying now they have altered their timeline to the point that inflation will take place and escalate over a period of two years, and by the end of that two years, the dollar will have so collapsed and inflation will be so high that there's no way in this world you will even be able to afford that airline ticket to go to some Boston Tea Party somewhere. They have it planned within two They feel like they have it made. I mean, they literally think that they have everything in the bag. They've got it right where they want it. You poor, st oh my goodness, you poor, stupid, dumb Americans. I mean, they think they're laughing at you. I mean, this gentleman... Let well, Lindsay, let me stop you. ...are laughing at the Americans. Let me stop you. Earlier, I read Club of Rome documents where they said we're going to destroy the economy by design. Maury Strong at the UN in 92 said, through carbon tax, we will destroy the industrial economy. They admit this, and now Schwarzenegger is announcing he's going to ban 40-inch TVs. They're announcing animal ID, premises ID. They're announcing they're going to shut down small markets and bazaars and garage sales. They're announcing troops to be deployed on the streets. They're openly admitting they want to destroy our industry, but you're talking to this high-level elitist who's given you other good intel in the past, and he was going further specifically that they are doing this to destroy the economy. They've stolen tens of trillions of our own money. They're hoarding the money. They're not loaning it. That's even mainstream news. Government's taking over society. Go through the bullet points and then go back over them. So he's saying in the next two years... They're bringing us into a full board depression. They already have a timeline set. They have a date set, Alex. I mean, I was so appalled. He never did this before. Did he, he say, okay, well, he's things. spilling his guts. Did he say, are they going to do it with the stock market crash, or is it going to be incremental? Give us the, because uh, I know you were taking notes. Yeah, he, he, he went on to say all of this. Uh, it, okay, here's the next one. Inflation will escalate over a period of two years, and they're going to do this by design plan. I actually have a schedule of events in chronological order. Alex, this, this, this could take a whole show within itself. We'll go a over A schedule of events in chronological order over the next two years of what they're going to do. And if you know what the schedule of events is, you will be able to follow it and design your own family's dinner table, and your job. Okay, let me go back to the, the main lines here. Inflation will escalate over a period of two years. Crude oil prices will remain somewhere around this. They may spike up. They may spike down a little bit. And then, Alex, I asked him about gold and silver. And this is something I did not ask him about two years ago. And you asked me on your show, I think it was, last time I was on about gold and silver. Numbers of other talk show hosts have asked me the same thing. I couldn't answer it. 
So I asked him the question. I said, what about gold and silver? Are you ready? I mean, this is going to be startling also, and it'll definitely help you know exactly what to do. Okay, I don't know what you're going to say. Tell me, Lindsay. He said, gold and silver are all you can rely on. He said, this is our money. This is what they use. Have you ever thought about the fact that when you go in there to buy it, you don't pay any state sales tax, there's no regulations, there's no records kept, you can buy and sell amongst yourselves, gold and silver is their currency, they don't depend on paper, they laugh at these Federal Reserve notes and this paper that's going up and down like a yo-yo. He said gold and silver are all you can depend on, All you, I'll put it in his exact words, he said gold and silver are all you can rely on. Now folks, you take the statement and go with it any way you want to, you gold dealers do with it what you want to, but I'm just telling you what he said, you cannot depend on the Federal Reserve note, it's on its way out, 